please welcome Tyler Rush to the show. Yay! Hey. Hello, hello. Hi, Hidim. Hi. Hi, everybody. Do you remember the first time we met? I think I do. It wasn't you came on Bijong Sang Hidam, yes, right? You were on with Nonsummit. Leon Onni. I remember you mentioning, or maybe the staff had mentioned it first, something about like living in Hong Kong oh, yeah. and like learning some Cantonese mm -hmm. and like and I was like, oh my gosh, Cantonese is so cool. Like oh, I'm like thinking to myself, oh ah! my god, that's so cool. <laughs> like, so I definitely remember that for sure. Uh, yeah. And I remember they uh, made me speak ch Chinese with uh, Chang Chang Yuan, another yeah, yeah, Chinese yeah. member. Alicia said, funnily enough, this is my first time hearing Tyler speak mm. more than two consecutive sentences <laughs> in English. That's so funny. You know what? It's it's probably it's pretty true, <laughs> I oh, think. I don't do you really... feel more comfortable in Korean now? Uh, I'm, you know, in front of a camera? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because there's like, you know, Korean is, is a bit structured and, and the way that media is done in Korea is so formatted. Mm. Even when you introduce yourself in Korean, yeah. it's like, hi, I'm someone from where, this is how I came to this meeting. Uh, uh, I hope we get along. Like there's this structure uh, that you follow, you know? Like a fixed yeah, expression. Yeah. So it's, hmm. it's kind of comfortable. Aside from using tumblers or, you mm. know, re re reusable bags, what can we do to be a little more environmental friendly in our daily uh, lives? Yeah. So I think everybody's opinion differs a lot on, on this question. And for me, I, I like to focus on macro issues, like large problems. Mm. Because, yes, it's good to, you know, go out and uh, clean up trash. It's good to um, not use too many plastic products. Those are all wonderful things. But... The global, the global average temperature increases fundamentally because of fossil fuels. Mm. If we do not transition away from fossil fuels, we cannot solve this problem. So in terms of everything that we should be focusing on, what is the most urgent? Well, clearly, it's replacing fossil fuels. There's nothing more important than that at this point in time. We've reached a global average increase in temperature compared to pre-industrial levels of 1.3 degrees Celsius. Wow. And we have a 60% chance of hitting 1.5 degrees increase uh, in the next three and a half years. And if that occurs, uh, and we have never on a global level actually reduced carbon emissions mm -hmm. uh, through human effort. And so, uh, if we do not succeed in doing that and we hit 1.5, then the likelihood of us hitting two degrees of warming in the 2030s is very high. And if that happens, just a realistic, like realistically, the way mm -hmm. that the planet would change is that sea levels would rise to a point which where before I retire, mm -hmm. our current trade infrastructure, the actual ports that we have, will not be usable oh. in 2050, mm -hmm. 2055. So but this is a conversation about whether or not we have a world that is actually economically viable for ourselves in our generation. And the only way to address that is by reducing carbon emissions. The only way to reduce carbon emissions is to get rid of fossil fuels. So for me, I believe the number one most important thing is to address that issue. Everything else is secondary. I'm writing down the things you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm so, I'm studying right now. Sorry, ah. yeah. And although the one you said one percent, two percent higher, and that may sound like a small number, but no, it is yeah, not. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. So one one point five degrees of warming and two degrees of warming. The difference between that, I believe, is something like three hundred thousand refugees per year. Mm. Uh, three, sorry, 300 million, 300, not 300, oh, wow. 300 million. Oh.